Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and as you can see on my screen I will be retouching this image. Um, I did this photo shoot last week in studio and I did, a, I did a behind the scenes, I uploaded it to my YouTube channel. You can check that out by checking the link in the description or you can just go on my YouTube page and go to the behind the scenes uh, tab. I was using the Sony X7 III for this photo shoot. I was using the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens. I was shooting at 7.1. My ISO was 100 and my shutter speed was 1 over 120 per second. I was using one light and I was using the Explora 600. Alright, so the first thing I'll be doing today, I'll be cropping the image. I'm going to come here and create a duplicate. Then I'm going to go to my crop tool. You can press C on the keyboard for the crop tool. Uh, you want to come here to the top and you want to click the 4 to 5 ratio if you would like to uh, uh, Upload your image to Instagram full size. So that's it Then I'm just going to move this up a little bit So I do not do not cut off the models here at the top then I'm gonna press enter and uh, I'm gonna start working on this layer here. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to remove the blemishes from the model skin uh, I'm just gonna come down here to the uh, healing brush i'm going to try the healing brush <sighs> what i'm going to do i'm going to come over here to the healing brush section uh, but i'm going to use a spot healing brush to remove the blemishes from the model's skin um, and to easier uh, select a tool that has more than one tools under it you're just going to right click and you'll see all the other tools there all right so I'm just going to zoom up the image a little bit, going to press space on the keyboard so I can move my image and then I'm just going to, you know, remove the blemishes. You want to ensure that the brush is very small or the same size as the uh, blemish that you're trying to remove and all you want to do is just click. I'm using the, the pen, the graphics pen, so all I'm doing is just, you know, mark the area that I'd like to have uh, removed all right good so just removing them so you can use the patch tool the, the healing brush whatever works for you you can use that all right so all i'm doing is just removing the blemishes from the skin All right, you want to ensure that you do it from the top come down because you really don't want to miss anything and there are times when I'm editing and I go all over the place and normally miss a spot. So it's best to stay at the top and then come right down on each side so you do not miss anything. But normally I'll, you know, I'll catch the error before I even save or sometimes when I'm doing the freaking separation I will, uh, you know, see the, the section that i've missed good thing about this model is that we don't really have a lot of pimples to work with uh, to, to remove so yeah uh, i think the, that the patch tool works faster though to be honest with you i've always been using the patch tool and i use the clone stamp tool as well but uh, i think the healing spot healing brush takes a little longer time i just believe that i don't know why <laughs> Because I think if I was using a patch tool, I'd be done already. Alright. So I am almost finished. Alright. Alright, good. I should be doing a behind the scenes this week as well. So you guys can stay tuned for that. And also when I am at, uh, what do I call it? 10,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away uh, maybe about three uh, presets that I've created. I think I'll be using one of them in this video. I think I need to rename them though, cause <laughs> not sure of the names that I've used. Alright, so I am through with uh, removing the blemishes from the skin. 
so i am now going to do frequent separation as usual so basically guys i'm just showing you how i edit my images i'm not here to teach anyone how to do it <laughs> i'm just showing you how i do it and if you can learn something from what i'm doing i'm glad i could help all right so i am done so i'm gonna come right here to my uh what do you call this again action and i'm just gonna keep this at 6.4 then I'm going to come over here to the brush. I'm just going to right click and you can click the mixer brush. I set my shortcut for M. If you can't find the mixer brush, it only means that it's not under brushes, but normally mixer brush is under brushes. Sometimes it's under here as well. You can go to edit tab and you can search for um, the mixer brush. Sometimes it may be over this side, so you can just click it and drag it over and put it wherever you like to put it. All right. All right, good. So I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer right here and then I'm on the mixer brush right now. So uh, for my wet, I'm going to keep it at 19. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, even out the skin. I don't really need to do much, to be honest, because her skin is really clean and I want it to look as natural as possible. So all I'm going to do right now is just, you know, even the skin out a little bit. So if you want to get really nice images guys what i would suggest that you do you work with a model that has clean skin and also work with a makeup artist because you will have fun working on these images because you know it was easy for you to work on so she did her own makeup though so uh she did a great job as well so all i'm doing is just you know just brushing to even out the skin that's all I'm doing so you might be asking the reason why normally if you've been watching my channel you know that I'm always doing the retouch the wet at 2% I noticed that when I raise the wet higher it flattens the skin faster and I don't necessarily have to do like every different well, the entire face really, I can just do different parts by just using the wet at that high um, percentage. And it works good. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily have to do the two and then, you know, stay a long time on a certain section, but trust me, anyone works for you, you can test them out guys. You can do two, you can do three, you can do 20 if you wish and see what it looks like whatever works for your image you do that all right so that is what i've done so far let me do the before and the after all right so just going to do this so all i'm doing i'm just getting the the white area over into the dark area a little bit all right good then do the arm as well the other hand So it flattens the skin real fast when it's high, but when it's low, when the number is low, it takes a longer time. All right, I think I like what I've done here. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is to do some dodge and burning. So I'm just gonna come here and then let me just close this. I'm gonna press the dodge and then I'm gonna right click and go to the brush and my brush is gonna be at 1%. And I'm just going to highlight the areas that needs to be highlighted. Um, maybe like right here. Right here as well. Under the eye. Right here, that's a bit dark, so I'm just going to highlight it. Just like that. Then I'm going to highlight the chin as well. I'm going to highlight here and here. All right, so now I'm going to do dodge. I'm going to work on the dark area, not dodge, burn. And the dark areas I'm working on is right here. So basically I'm just enhancing, you know, what's already there, basically. The side of the cheek. 
So I'm shaping the face right now with the burn. Contouring, basically. Alright, that looks good. Let me just zoom out a little bit and see what's happening here. So that's the before, that's the after. Let's look at the before and after for the boat dodge and burning. DB. And that's the before and that's the after. So you see I'm, I'm shaping the face. I see like a little patch right here. So that would actually mean that we have a little dark spot. So we can remove that by, um, you know, dodging the area a little bit. And you don't want to go overboard. I'm just going to do a big brush. All right. I'm gonna go to the burn again and I'm just gonna do it in here. Uh, I think I like that. Let's go to the dodge and do the outer parts. I'm gonna do some more of the chin. Come back to the burn. All right, that looks good. Don't think I need to do anything else with that. Alright, I'm going to go back down to the color correction tool here. The color correction tool, guys, is just for you to use the brush and, you know, match certain part of the skin. This does nothing at all, to be honest with you. This is just a layer, alright? So what I'm going to do, let's say I want to match here with here, right? So you have to ensure that you're on the brush and then you click the Alt tool and you select the dark area that you'd like then you're just going to get your brush bigger and just brush the area that you'd like to change the color for so look at this so before and after see that so you can just use that to match the skin just ensure that your flow is at one percent when you're doing it all right good so i like that i'm not sure what's happening right here let me see if I can maybe brighten this a little bit. Or I could maybe just use the same technique, this plain template. What should I do? Brighten here? Let me see. I'm gonna brighten it. So all I'm doing is brushing with the color. Ah, uh, I think I like it. I'm just gonna go down to color. So it looks a little bit more realistic. I'm barely seeing anything though. But let me just do another one. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. Let me let me change this back to let me change it to a different blending option and see color normal color normal. Yeah, I'm gonna work with the color. So I think I'm done with that. What I'm going to do now is to clean the model's um, eye. I still see a little dark spot right here. You know what? I have to fix that. I can't leave it. Trust me. Um, I'm going to go back to the brush. Bit brush. Get it smaller. And I'm just going to brush right here because it looks a little bit dark to me. And then maybe right here as well. All right, good. So I'm gonna work on the models I know. So I'm gonna come here to where it says clean teeth and eyes. And then I'm on the brush. I'm gonna move my uh, what's this called again? Flow to about 30% or 34% and just paint the red areas. I'm not going to do everything because I want it to look as natural as possible. So that works. For her teeth, I could do the same thing. I could work on the same layer, but I would suggest that you create a new layer because you don't know what might happen. All right, I think her nails are growing out. So I want to fix that as well. So I'm gonna create a new layer and then I'm just gonna use a paint brush. I'm gonna keep that um, 34 and I'm gonna use the paint brush and paint it. So what you want to do, you want to sample what is above when you're making the adjustment good I'm gonna do the same thing over here so all I'm doing I'm just sampling here by holding alt 
I'm just taking my time and brushing it. That's all I'm doing. Sample and brush. That is it. Don't think I need to do anything else more. Oh yeah. I need to fix it a little bit. That works perfect. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I still see a little bit dark here. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something. I'm going to come back down to the low frequency layer. Then I'm going to get my patch tool. Where's the patch tool again? Okay, under here. And I'm just going to make a selection of the dark spot. I'm going to go to the high frequency layer and I'm just going to bring it down. Let me try it one more time. I think that, that was a big selection. I think I'm okay with this. Just to be on the safe side, let me just do a little frequency separation right here. Just to level out everything. That does not look like it's leveled. Let me go back. You know what? Let me go right back. You know what? I'm not going to make any adjustments to that. That's good. That is good. Alright, I think that looks good. I'm gonna try something that I've never really done before. I have a portraiture, um, what's this called? A portraiture, um, plug in. So I'm gonna try to see if it can even out this part of the skin a little bit for me. Uh, I'm just going to create a mask and just paint in this area only. Do 100%. Just going to paint in this area only. Just want it a little bit soft because it's so rough right there. And maybe right here as well. Ah! Create a new layer. Get my patch tool. See if I can just ah, I think I'm okay with that. Is this okay? Let's look at it before and after. Now right, you know what? I'm gonna use a part of the I'm gonna use this layer, the layer that I cleaned up. I'm just gonna bring it to the top, create a new layer and bring it to the top, and then I'm going to um I'm going to use back one of the, the layers so I can get a natural look. So this is the layer that I cleaned up. So I'm going to lower the opacity and see if I can get back something natural. And yes, it looks natural. Let me bring this to maybe about what? 30. Let's say, if, well, 39% is good enough. All right. So this looks good. That was before I did all the adjustments and then this is after. Right. So the aim is to always ensure that the image looks natural as possible. So that's the reason why I bring back part of what I had before. I think I could make some adjustments to right here. All right. This looks good. Perfect. So now I'm going to color the image. So let's see. No, let me see how long this video is. 18 minutes so far. Well, 19 minutes or 20. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna color the image now. So it's gonna create a new layer. Then I'm gonna wait, create a, a copy of the image. Then I'm gonna go to filter, camera raw, and I am going to select one of my presets. I have one, two, three, four presets, and I'm gonna use one of these. I don't think I wanna use the CB1. Natural look. Okay, so I'm gonna use this warm tone um, preset. 
so that's the before that's the after I think I like it it looks good um, I want her hair to look a little bit more rich and so I'm gonna create a new layer and then Control alt a for the camera raw shortcut then I'm gonna come up to the top where I see the clarity I'll bring up the clarity some more so the hair can look you know um, not dry but wet <laughs> uh, let me see texture uh, no texture mm. D haze so this is the before and this is the after so I'm gonna click OK and then because I've done a lot of adjustments it also affects the face and I don't want that but I think I like her blows yeah so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mask it now so I'm gonna hold on an alt and click the mask tool at the bottom right here and then all I'm gonna do is to press the B on the keyboard for the brush tool keep it at 100% I'm just gonna paint in the areas that I want all right so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paint in the here because that's what I want the effect on let's get it smaller for these ones here good and I like her I like what it looks like when I add the effect to her gloves so I'm gonna add that to it as well good so that is the finished image there's nothing else I need to do maybe I could brighten her eyes a little bit by just coming here to where it says curve and bring up the curve like that to brighten the eyes click on the layer then control I don't think it's control control I no I know it was a control I so it's all uh, well, it's Control I. I was clicking um, Alt I. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is to go to the brush tool, put it at about 21%, and I'm just gonna paint the eyes so it's brighter. The eyes looks a little bit look a little bit red. I may want to. Um, I may want to like get rid of some of the. Cause some of the effect came from. Wait, let me see something here. Oh, you know what? No, I can't do that. Let me just get back the... Let me see what the original looks like. Because for some reason, the eye color is now changing. I don't want that. Oh, I guess it was me. Alright, so what I could do, I could do teeth and eyes again. Let me delete this one because I'm not using that one. We we'll go back to teeth, clean teeth and eyes, and then I'm gonna try to clean it again. Go on my brush. I'm gonna put it at 45%. To put it to the top. Just gonna clean it again because I'm because of the adjustment I just made with the colors, it's now looking red. Yeah, so that looks good. I don't think I need to do anything else with this image. Um, this looks good. So that is it for the image, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And, um, you know, you have to stay tuned for another video. As I said before, when I reach 10,000, I am going to be doing um, a giveaway. Uh, yeah, so you can stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to reach 10,000 before this video is actually... Um, uploaded because i'm actually doing this video from today's sunday and this video should be for friday coming so i may upload a video giving away the presets before this video is actually uploaded so if you hear me guys talking about giving away it before 10,000, and i give it away already <laughs> you know it's because this video was done before i reached 10,000 or after i reached 10,000. well before i reached 10,000, but i may reach 10,000 by friday who knows Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.